What's up gamers, how's everybody doing today? I'm excited to announce the release of my newest game, Heat Death. Heat Death, which you're seeing now, is a bullet hell battle royale game, in which each round has a smaller number of players than most traditional battle royales. This allows for rapid fun and quick action. The footage you're seeing is from a recently held closed beta, but fortunately the game is now an open beta. You can play it right now via link in the description. Now I'd like to take a minute to explain some of the game's mechanics. As you just saw, when I approached another player, he appeared on my minimap. When you're close enough to other players, they will become visible on your minimap. This section of the map is infamous for making long range combat impossible. To win here, you need to get in close. This is because obstacles on the map block bullets, and as you can see, there are quite a lot of obstacles here. If you notice, the minimap just changed. That's right, there's a safety circle in this game. If you're not careful, the storm will kill you. Notice these bullets flying at us from afar. In this game, bullets have a near infinite range. This means you'll have to stay on your toes to avoid damage. That was some good one-on-one -on -one action there, huh? But now the circle is even smaller. The circle has now shrunk to its end-game form. Players are now forced to fight in close quarters. They got me! Who would have guessed the creator of this game isn't the best player? Once you die in this game, your controls automatically transform into spectator mode. Thank you for watching! If this game looks interesting to you, please try it out via the link in the description. If you join a game and nobody else is online, well, I have a solution for you. Join the game's Discord server. Hop on there and see if you can't get a group together to play. The Discord is linked below as well. Finally, if this project looks interesting to you and you want to keep up with its progress, please subscribe and click the notification bell.